Hi everybody, today we're going to do pillow shams. This uh, video process has been really fun. Um, anyway, so we're going to do uh, pillow shams for the 16 inch square pillows. The way we're going to cut it out will give you two pillow shams for, for each set of cutting. So the first cut we're going to do, we're going to cut the front and you're going to cut a 21 inch cut here like that and you'll cut that then you will switch it and here's the fold then you're going to cut a 21 inch sideways so let me do that for you I'm going to use my rotary It'll be a little easier, a little faster for me. Here. And let's move that. Then I'll trim. And then we're going to cut 21 inches across that. and this will give you two 21 inch pieces okay and this will be for one pillow. This will be for the second pillow. Let's take this one away. Okay. Now, we'll put this over here. We'll use that in a minute. We're going to cut. We'll use the same process, but we're going to cut a 25-inch piece here lengthwise. So I cut 25 inches, and then I'll cut 21 inches here. So this is 25, this is 21. Giving you, just like the other, two pieces. We'll keep this one for the pillow. We'll put this one for the second pillow over here. So this is the front. And this is the back piece. And the back piece is longer because it has the flap that we'll be using to overlap it in the back. Okay. Let's move these two pieces. You're going to take that back piece going to fold it in half and make a mark right here. This will give you right here. And then you'll cut that which will give you Two twelve and a half inch pieces right here. A twelve and a half inch piece and a twelve and a half inch piece. Now I want you to mark on the inside these two pieces right here. Okay? Then you will take those pieces that we marked and you're going to fold it over a quarter of an inch. So right here, you're folding it over a quarter of an inch all the way down and then you'll take it and press that down. Okay, then 
Then you'll take it and refold it again. So you have this, you're gonna redo it again and press it down. Take it and press it. Then you will stitch it all the way down. Okay. Now we're gonna put it together. So here is your front piece, the 21 by 21, and the two back pieces. You're gonna lay your front piece up. You'll take your back piece down and even it out here like this. Take your pins and pin it all the way around. Then you'll take your second back piece face down, match it in the corner here, overlap it right there, Okay, and then pin it all the way around. When you've done that, let me get this out of the way. When you've done that, you have pinned it and you have then sewn it a half an inch, not a quarter of an inch like we usually do, a half inch here, all the way around. And then trim your corners like you know how to do. Here. Then you'll take the pins out. and then turn it inside out. Okay, get it out, get your corners all nice and pointed out iron it really, really well with the iron. Press it really well. When you have done that, see how nicely pressed that is now? All the points are good. Then pin the flap closed. That's really important. Then measure all the way around one and a half inches. And I've already marked it, but this is what we'll do here, just like that. All the way around. Then stitch it all the way around and you will get this. See all the stitching? And here's the back with the flap. Let me put a pillow in it. It's really easy, it looks good, and it's durable. in, smooth out that flap, and that covers it really nicely, and here's the, here's the pillow. Now let me show you in some of your material, and here it is. That look nice? And then here's the back, and it covers really well. That's our pillow shams. Then take the second 
repeat with the leftover fabric, the front and the back that you had left over for your second pillow. Okay, that's it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.